End users need to be able to access all the applications that are running on the servers, and servers need to communicate with each other too. This is achieved by networking, quite similarly to your home network. However, there are a few things that are done a bit differently in the data centers. That's what we'll talk about today. This is the fourth video in our Introduction to Enterprise IT series. If you haven't seen the previous ones yet, I highly recommend watching them first. I will leave the links down below. This video is a cut-down version of the full course module that all of our members at Tech Enthusiast Academy have access to, plus plenty more. If you are not a student yet, sign up at academy.techenthusiast.com. Now, let's get going with networks. I want to actually compare the home networks to the data center environments. What we have in our home network, we have maybe a television. We might have a laptop. Uh, maybe tablet. We might have a mobile phone here as well. And all of these devices, of course, they need to have access to internet these days. So what we have in the environment as well somewhere, you have a box somewhere in the corner of your living room or something like that. You have a box where all of these devices are connected to either using a cable or they can be connected wirelessly to the device. And this is your home network here. What is this magical device here then that's connecting everything with the network? That is the Wi-Fi gateway. Wi-Fi gateway which actually in most cases and most probably consists of multiple different devices. We have a wireless access point for first of all, that radio there which is used to connect your devices to the network wirelessly. So it also is a switch. It is a switch because you can connect these two devices, television, and laptop and maybe your uh, gaming console and another television, whatever fridges you connect to the, to the network these days, you connect them to the, to the same network so that they can communicate with each other in your network. So it's a switch. In addition to that, it's also a router okay. because it is connecting your home network to the internet. It's connecting your home network to the internet. This is one network. There's probably many tens of millions home networks around the world that are all connected to the internet. One network connecting to another network requires a router. Now let's take a look at this side of the picture, which is all about data center. The difference here just is that we most typically don't have these combo boxes, <laughs> these boxes, these physical devices, that have multiple functions. And also, to be fair, we don't have wireless access points either. We are not connecting anything together in, in data center environments wirelessly. Just for a simple reason, cables are always more reliable and they provide more stable connections and predictable bandwidth and lowest latency as well. So that's why we are having switches in the data center environment that connect to servers. Now, when we have two devices connected to switches, this becomes a local area network, just like this one, local area network. If you look at only this cloud and forget the wireless part, if you look at these three devices, this box and these two devices connected with the cable, that is the switch that's functioning there and that creates the local area network. 
if you add the access point functionality, it just extends the capabilities of the physically connected uh, switches. It extends it to wireless LAN. It's still a LAN wireless local area network. We have multiple of these LANs here. We also can have just one. We of course still want to have access to the internet. So we need to have this functionality of this box here. So what we want to have is a router here. But when we are talking about data center environments, we of course have two of them. Now, then we connect these routers to these switches. So this way we provide these individual local area networks or LANs, all four of them access to routers. And then of course, we should be connecting our routers to the internet. This can be a very typical campus area network. Local area network, one network talking to each other, multiple local area networks connected to together behind some router forms a campus area network in our environment. We have service providers here. Depending on where you are living, you connect to some local service provider. Then it jumps to another one, jumps to a third one, and finally reaching the last one. And that's how you get there to, to your end destination. The internet is just the network of networks. The most famous WAN in the world is the internet. Home networks compared to data center or cloud networks, both connected to the biggest wide area network known to man, and that's the internet. These two are not that different, different kind of say, size and shape switches, but the fundamentals are exactly the same. So as we learned, enterprise networks are quite similar to home networks. Of course, everything is bigger, there's more of everything, and we need to be better prepared for malfunctions and bigger traffic. If you want to learn more about enterprise networking or generally about enterprise IT and earn a course certificate to brag with, go to academy.techenthusiast.com and sign up for the course. The next video will be about the basics of data center infrastructure. Subscribe and hit that bell button to be the first to know when that's released. Thanks for watching and until the next time.